Hey, I'm Maya Faber and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a stamp brush in Procreate. So let's get started. The first thing that we will do is to use black as the color when we draw shapes and grains for our brushes. I'm using a standard size square canvas here, which is 2048 pixels. Then I will use the Everyday Liner from me and my husband's brand Faber Company. The Everyday Liner is a freebie that you can download for free in a brush set of five free Procreate brushes on my website, myafaber.com slash freebies. I will add a link in the description of this video. And the Everyday Liner is one of the brushes from our dry ink brush set, which you can check out in my web shop, myafaber.com slash shop. So let's get started with creating our stamp. With the Everyday Liner and black as the color, I will draw a shape. For this example, I will draw a heart and as I want my heart to be a bit texturized, I don't drag and drop a color, but I will draw in the heart with the everyday liner. When you have your shape, we need to copy it. You can do this in a few different ways. Either go to the actions panel, add and copy canvas, share as a JPEG to your camera roll and then add it as a photo. Or you can do like me here, swipe down with three fingers and tap copy all. Then I will create a new brush by tapping the plus symbol in a brush set in the brush library. The first thing that we do is to add the shape. So tap shape and import and paste. Then we tap with two fingers to invert this image so that the shape is white and the background is black. And then tap done. And now we need to make a few settings. First go to stroke path and increase the setting to maximum. And here you can see that if we stamp the brush, you get one single shape every time you tap with the brush. If you look closely, you can see that I have different opacity on my hearts and I want all my hearts to be solid. So I tap Apple Pencil and drag down the opacity to zero. And that will make all hearts solid. The next thing that we can do is to choose if we want to have the same size on all of our stamps or if we want different sizes of the shapes depending on how much pressure we put on our Apple Pencil. So if I increase the size in Apple Pencil, I'll get different sizes of the hearts. If you want to increase the size of the whole brush, you can drag up the maximum size to whatever size you wish. And we want to tap Stamp Preview here to view this brush as a stamp. And we can adjust the Stamp Preview size. Now tap done and we will try out our heart. So that's a kind of big heart. So adjust the size a bit. And here you can see that the more pressure you put on your Apple Pencil, the bigger your heart will become. And that is how you create a stamp brush in Procreate. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Faber. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my other tutorials here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more from me, check out my Skillshare classes and for a more personal learning experience, you can join me on Patreon. You can find all of the links in the description of this video.